What is up everybody? It's Cobes here and today I am back with a Fortnite video. In today's video I'm going over the top 10 uncommon pickaxes in this game. So there are only 10 uncommon pickaxes in this game and they're one of the cheapest items especially if you just want a pickaxe. You know you could go for a very simple and clean design with any of these pickaxes. I would totally recommend getting one of these if you don't already have some because they're so cheap and and personally, I just love using pickaxes. If you already have that skin you love and you use it all the time, then get a nice pickaxe to complement it. And I do think a lot of these just match up with almost every skin. If you guys want to, vote in the poll in the description for tomorrow's video because I do like doing these types of videos where you guys vote and then we kind of compare our rankings, our answers, whatever they may be. But we're going to do that for tomorrow's video. I don't know what that video is going to be based on. Before we get started though, make sure to tell me what your favorite uncommon pickaxe is in this game and drop a like, subscribe, and turn on those notifications guys. I appreciate all of you so much. So at our number 10 spot for a pickaxe that I bought when it first came out, I don't know why I bought it. I really don't know why. I think someone donated to me in one of my streams and said, hey, buy the code name ELF. I had some extra V-Bucks from that donation. So I ended up buying this one. Was it worth it? No, it wasn't because it's at our number 10 spot. It was the you shouldn't have. And this one was rare at a time in place it was rare um a long time ago i'll just say that i don't know why exactly it came back out it really ruins it for me because it was rare it was and it would have been so cool to have a really crappy pickaxe as one of my rarest items but sadly they brought it back out it doesn't really make sense why they brought this one back out but they didn't bring the candy axe back out there's really no rhyme or reason for why Epic Games does anything. It, it seems like the Candy Axe would sell a lot more than, let's say, that you shouldn't have. Because the you shouldn't have is terrible, the Candy Axe is amazing. But this kind of pisses me off. Did you guys buy this one early on just because it was so cheap? And, I mean, it, it, let's just be honest, it was never a good pickaxe, it never was. It was a basic pickaxe wrapped in some Christmas wrap. I mean, come on, man. Come on, Epic Games. Why did you have to do this to me? This one actually pisses me off. Bring back the Candy Axe. Hashtag bring back the Candy Axe. Go tweet that at Fortnite. Guys, we need this one back. The Candy Axe is amazing. Let's get that one back. You know, the you shouldn't have came back. At least bring back something else. Moving on though, to our number 9 spot, we have the Lucky Axe. And this one falls into the same category that the you shouldn't have did as well. That you shouldn't have is very simple, just like the Lucky Axe is. Both of these pickaxes were rare. They were. But then, you know what? Fortnite decided to bring back these pickaxes and totally destroy them. You know, these are very crappy items. Same with a lot of the uncommon skins that are rare. These ones are crappy, but they were cool because they were rare. The Lucky Pickaxe is one of the rarest, or it was one of the rarest items ever to be implemented into this game. It came out so early on. I think it was one of the first pickaxes to ever come out in this game, but it came out again and again and again to the point where why would you even buy this one? It's so bad. I, I, I did like it when it was rare because I do think it's kind of cute. You know, it has some smiley faces on it. I wish they put like, you know, the Nirvana smiley faces on it. That would actually make it pretty cool. But the Lucky Axe, it suffers the same fate as the shouldn't have. It was cool for being rare, but now that it's not rare, let's just be honest. It's a crappy pickaxe that no one in their right mind would buy. Moving on to our number 8 spot, I gave it to the Tactical Spade, and overall this one's a very simple pickaxe design. This is what I would expect from an uncommon pickaxe. If you want something that's just super simple, that's not going to like stray away from anything you use, like a skin pickaxe combination, it's not gonna, it's never not gonna work. It's always gonna work with whatever skin you use. Then you should buy this one. I think there are some better examples of pickaxes that work with anything and everything, but Tactical Spade, it's all right. It just didn't really um, compare to any pickaxes above it. So Tactical Spade, you know, if you want it, you can get it. I'm just not recommending you buy it. Moving on to the number seven spot. 
I gave it to the Patty Whacker. And this is one of the greasiest, most disgusting pickaxes that I like. <laughs> you know, there's some items in this game, sort of like the tomato head, that I don't necessarily like because it's just a little bit too greasy. It's a little bit too, like just that's it. It's not even ugly necessarily, it's just greasy. And the Patty Whacker, it does have a decent design, very simple. This is what you'd expect from an uncommon pickaxe. But for me, it actually does work out a little bit more in game. I will totally recommend you buy this pickaxe. Uh, if you want something greasy, kind of funny, sort of meme -y, then just go out and buy this one if you want to. Moving on to my number six spot, I gave it to the Elite Cleat. And for me, the Elite Cleat is pretty cool. You know, the all gold design, that's pretty cool. We haven't really seen that too often before. I don't know if we've seen anything like that before. The pickaxe itself, it does have a pretty heavy sound, which it does look like it would be pretty heavy. I don't know how heavy gold is, but just from the looks of it, it looks like it would be pretty heavy. You know, it's made out of some sort of metal um, inside the gold. That's obviously fool's gold. Let's just, come on guys, let's be honest. Epic, are they really out here putting gold on stuff? I don't think so. These are the cheapest cheapskates of this universe. Epic Games, if they're not making money, they're not, well, I don't know. They'll probably just release the Skull Trooper, Gold Trooper, any Christmas skin. If they're not making money in the near future, all these skins will be released. Trust me on that, guys. <laughs> but the Elite Cleat, a very heavy looking pickaxe, a very heavy sounding pickaxe as well. It, I don't know. I don't like it for that reason. For, for the most part, I'll like the lighter pickaxes. I, I know at our number three spot we have another very heavy pickaxe, but for me the Elite Cleat just, it's alright, it's mid-tier. Um, I do like it because it's, it actually has some color to it, it has some design to it, unlike, you know, the Paddy Whacker, the Tactical Spade that are just so simple that it, it doesn't really even matter, you know? But whatever, I'm done talking about that. Moving on to my number five spot, I gave it to the Caliper. And for a very simple design, I think this is a go-to one. This is mid-tier, it's right in the middle, it's right at our number five spot. It's one of the most simple pickaxe designs, but for me, I'll typically like the simple pickaxe designs, and Caliper is just that. Simple color, simple pickaxe. Overall, I like the sound though. I think if you're gonna buy a pickaxe and you want something simple, this could be your go-to one. Moving on to our number four spot, I gave it to the Victory Lap. And I was really happy when this one came out. You know, an uncommon pickaxe that, that is actually pretty cool. It's simple, but it actually has some design to it. It's just not like a regular old pickaxe. I think this one, if you have the whiplash, would definitely be a must buy. Go use this with the whiplash. I totally recommend you do. Moving on to my number three spot, I had to give it to the exercise. And this one actually has a little bit of a design to it. It has some color to it. Thank you Epic Games for finally introducing some color into the uncommon pickaxes. But this one, it's another very heavy pickaxe and that makes sense to me. You know, unlike the Elite Cleat, which I guess it makes sense because of that gold factor it has, it, it doesn't really look like it should be a very heavy pickaxe. But this one has that heavy sound to it. You're swinging around weights. I do like its design. I don't think it should be uncommon, but you know what? Hey, if it's cheap, and it's cheaper than I think it should be, then great, you know? Um, I don't think it should be uncommon though, but good for us, I guess. I would definitely recommend you go out and buy this. I love the noise behind it. It's a little bit loud, but whatever. It doesn't really matter all that much. You know, you're not really gonna get kills anyways, guys. Let's just be honest with ourselves. Moving on to our number two spot, I gave it to the drum beat. And the drum beat is the loudest pickaxe in this game. Do you remember the ACDC? Do you remember how loud it was when it first came out? You could not hear anything. Even just having the pickaxe out, not even swinging it at anything, let alone swinging it at anything. You could not hear anything. The electricity um, was just so loud. It was like zzzz, right in your ears. It was so loud, but the drum beat, it might not be as loud as that, but it's still insanely loud. I do like it though. I think its design really makes me want to go swing and hit things down, destroy things with it, and get material. 
Um, I really do like it even if it is loud. I don't care. I like its design as well. Its um, noise fits perfectly with it as well. So I think this one's uh, almost a perfect uncommon pickaxe, except we have the number one spot, which is the Icebreaker, guys. The Icebreaker is my favorite uncommon pickaxe in the game. It's one of the most simple designs, but at the end of the day, I don't really care. I don't care if it's simple. I don't care. It's it, it, it works perfectly, guys. It works with any skin and every skin in this game. I would totally recommend you go and try out this pickaxe. Do not waste your time. It was rare a long time ago, but if it was rare, it would definitely be my favorite pickaxe in this game, no lie. But for right now, you know, I, I just love this pickaxe. It's so simple. It fits the uncommon theme, and there's nothing wrong with it, guys. There, it's not too loud. It's not too quiet. The colors work perfectly. I love the shovel design. I totally recommend you go out and get the icebreaker for yourself and use it. I'll see you guys later. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Tell me your favorite uncommon pickaxe in the game. Bye-bye, uh, guys.